Now, a state school in Buckingham is celebrating its 600th anniversary. The milestone makes the Royal Latin the 100th oldest school in the world. It began by providing education to six poor boys in 1423 and now is a grammar school to over 1,300. Brendan Nichols has been along to see some of the celebrations taking place. I have been given such an incredible opportunity being here. I know the study will focus on Latin, but I'm hoping to learn some mathematics and handwriting too. It started with six poor boys offered education inside this very chapel in Buckingham. I'm a bit worried about how strict the teachers are at this school and I really want to do well. I know the main subjects will be reading, writing and arithmetic. 600 years later and it's home to celebrations. Somebody would have been in my position 600 years ago. It's, it's amazing. I, yeah, I can't, I can't really describe it. It's just such an honour. It's just impressive uh, of the longevity of the school and how you think uh, the school has been through the Wars of the Roses, Shakespeare. I love interacting with so many people and seeing everyone in Buckingham just kind of come together as a community to celebrate the 600th anniversary of our school. I think it's been really nice. The Chantry Chapel, Buckingham's oldest building, is these days maintained by the National Trust. The schools had 44 head teachers and three venues in the town over the past six centuries. But then Queen Mother opened the current site back in 1963. The school now has more than 1,300 students. The Royal Latin's growth has also given it an opportunity to bring in more of the local community. It's really important for me that we reach out to the community. We do lots of community lectures. We've got uh, an outreach programme in science and we've got a 3G pitch uh, that is regularly used by our local football team. So, you know, we're, we're part of the community, but also providing a, a really special education uh, for our students. A new charter of pledges has been made by the school from planting trees to volunteering and mentoring as it looks to start its seventh century in education in Buckingham. Brennan Nichols, BBC South Today.